you know, there, there was shit happening every day, you know, like every day we wake up and there'd be some new news about, you know, something that someone that had heard us or, or something happening for the band. So it was, and that, that went on, that went on for quite a while. So it just sort of, just, you know, I mean, the Prince thing was crazy, dude. That's insane. I mean, we, we never actually got to meet him, which sucks, but, we, we we had invites to go to Paisley Palace a couple of times, but we just couldn't make it because we were on in the middle of the tour. Wow. Um, so that that I mean, we all regret that a lot because yeah. it would have been outstanding. He, he, he came and saw a gig that we did at his hometown and sat up in the back corner on the like up in the stalls and couldn't see him. He was in the shadows and and. Uh, Apparently, as the story goes, he, he when I set up, I, I normally set up right of stage facing into stage. So my back is again, you know, if if you can walk up onto the stage, my back's against the stage, like that that walkway, right? So apparently about an hour into the set, he came down, stood side of stage right behind me, like kind of danced a little bit, and then just left. My God. And that was it. He just ghosted us. And and uh, so that's the closest I ever got to meeting meeting Prince. But I don't know, like all all the accolades are, are great, but it just sort of drives you to keep making the music that we make and keep on that that trip. You know, it's the oh, yeah. most important thing, just to yeah. keep creating. 